Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of our electrical AutoCAD MEP tutorial series. In our last class, we discussed the concept of electrical load estimate where we have our electrical load schedule by using an Excel calculation sheet. So after we've computed all the required load and as I explained we'll be having three distribution circuits we have one at the ground floor which we named distribution board A at the middle floor or, at, or you call it at the first floor likewise at the pent floor we'll be having the main distribution board at the ground floor now to proceed from where we stopped I explained that from our load schedule we'll be able to balance our load if probably we'll be using a three phase distribution system as we've designed we have our red yellow blue actually professionals always recommend that you design in three phase so that if probably you'll be having a single phase you just have the complete loop as the total connected load which is one of our main concern why designing electrical distribution system more so from the design we'll be able to determine our protective devices as already indicated in this our project we have our total current ampere from this our total current ampere we'll be able to specify the amperage ratings for our protective devices and the third one will be able to size our income which is our service cable most especially in our protective devices and more so be able to determine the cable sizes for all these are electrical distribution boards so let's begin from the rear which is our load balancing load balancing simply implies that we have an equivalent load this may not be actually visible but to some extent as an electrical professional you need to take this into consideration for example in this our project design we're having 8700 watts in our red face we're having an 8665 in our yellow face and for the blue we're having 9585 which is 9.5 kilowatts by using AutoCAD and this Excel sheet, we'll have to make some modifications to have an equivalent load in, order in each of our phases. So let's try to some extent. Since we have 86 here and we have 95 here, maybe we should bring this here, Ctrl X, or by just moving the formula here. And I come to the other phase, which is here, Ctrl V enter so let's move this here so to some extent can still modify the okay, have 93 here 9.3 kilowatt here it's 7.7 8.9 to some extent and as there is no further modification that can be done this is good enough so that's how load balancing process goes. You repeat the same process for all our distribution boards. Like us for the third, we have 5.8 kilowatt air, 7.5 and 6. Probably you can move this, which is 2000. Control X, Control V, Control X, Control V. We have 6.2, 7.2 and 6. Let's still try further. We have 1.5 one, uh, one, here, 1.3, 6. Uh, okay, we can move this, which is, let's move this. Ctrl X, Ctrl V. So, 
we move on to 50 let's run this there control x control v so we have 6 by 4 6.4 6 6.9 and 6 we have 1.2 2000 here we can definitely add this 1.3 and 1.2 and move it somewhere here so that we can move to 1000 here so let's copy Control X Control V so move this Control X Control V and this Control X Control V yeah so we have our total load very close to each other 6.4 6.3 and 6.6 .6. you can also try for that but in a nutshell this is how we do balance electric load but if probably you are using a more sophisticated electrical software or probably all these 3d software such as revit this load balancing will be more easier we'll later get to that in our subsequent classes don't forget to like and subscribe see you next class